why finasteride is not a good solution for hair loss. In studies, finasteride only blocks about 70% of DHT relative to dutasteride, which blocks 95% plus. The other I have to disagree with somebody who's taken finasteride for the past four and a half years and recently made the switch over to dutasteride, although I do understand where he's coming from. Scalp DHT is what matters when it comes to hair loss and finasteride blocks around 41%, while dutasteride blocks around 51%, which does lead to more hair gains. However, for the vast majority of guys, finasteride is more than enough to significantly slow down and or stop hair loss. When it comes to medications, a general rule of thumb is you want to use the smallest dose that provides the greatest benefit with the least potential for harm. Now, I have heard of dermatologists starting guys on dutasteride because it has a similar side effect profile, but it's a bit more effective, which is why I say I understand. But my point is, is if finasteride works well enough, then why go out of your way to nuke your CMDHT? The reason I made the change to dutasteride is because I was still noticing some slight recession, albeit at an extremely slow rate. Now, there's only one type of DHT, although different isoforms of the 5-alpha reductase enzyme can make it, such as type 1, 2, and 3. And the current body of literature to support dutasteride improving acne in men is currently extremely limited. I'm talking only a handful of case studies. So I personally wouldn't nuke my serum DHT just for acne purposes, especially when it's far from proven in men, and especially if I was a younger guy that was still developing. This is why I personally think most guys should start on finasteride, and if after after a couple of years they're still noticing hair loss, then look into making the switch.